Juna filming today with me. And how do we open today, Juna? Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tahutu. This one. And you need to speak a little bit louder because the mic is far away. My name is Juna Tahutu. That was like really loud. But this is my beautiful daughter, the second one. The first one is Jolie, 15 years old. Juna. 13 years old and then we have Jessa, 10 years old. You might recognize us from four years ago when we as a family sold literally everything we owned, our house, our companies, our cars, our toys, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now coming to you guys from Lagos, Portugal. In today's video, of course, going to bomb you guys with some cool Bitcoin charts that are showing you what Bitcoin is going to do next. Also guys, looking at an Ethereum chart and I am going to show you guys that we already reached a new all-time high in some countries in this world. And in the last part, guys, we are going to talk about Paxful and a Japanese football player that now created his own coin. Enjoy watching today's video, guys. guys we start with the family part and I really need to discuss something with you guys because I am running out of time I am doing too many things at the moment like creating videos like the family token like all that stuff so I need to make sure I keep the videos a little bit shorter so I'm going to try to make max 15 minute videos and I'm even thinking about splitting the family content and the Bitcoin content so let me know what you think. Should I be, should I stay and create these videos where I combine family life, some Bitcoin news, some blockchain news, or should I make like solely TA videos and solely like Bitcoin family videos? Thinking about it, let me know your opinion in the comments below because I really appreciate your opinion. We as a family are feeling very nice here in Portugal. We like Portugal. I like the weather because it's still um, warm. Juna thinks it's a little bit colder because she's wearing a jeans already but you know that's a different temperature in the body for every person the only thing we know is that the sea is like getting colder and colder to swim so we both wouldn't swim in the sea I think no, no. and guys this weekend Juna is going to help me with hiding some QR codes on our website I'm thinking about hiding three QR codes on the bitcoinfamily.com website and when you find them and scan them you earn some family tokens so make sure guys you visit the website the bitcoinfamily.com and you find those QR codes you scan those QR codes and you become a proud owner of the Bitcoin family family tokens guys that was already the family part yes um, Juno will just join me to walk to the sea and we will talk some more family at the end but now jumping into the Bitcoin charts guys so we will go to the Bitcoin part and how do we go to the Bitcoin part Juna? like this BAM The first chart, guys, that we are going to look at is the Bitcoin dominance chart. So let's bam that chart onto your screen, guys. One, two, three, bam. bam! As you can see, guys, the Bitcoin dominance is now above the 200 day moving average. This means you can see the Bitcoin dominance is around 63 at the moment, that Bitcoin season is on. When Bitcoin price goes into this red area, that is the all season. As you can see, the peak of the all season was at the bottom of the Bitcoin dominance. So every time the Bitcoin dominance, guys, goes up to 63, 64, that is the Bitcoin season. Make sure you're in Bitcoin at that moment and you make sure you get into the altcoins again when it is altcoin season. That was the first really cool chart. Let's go to the second chart. This one. Bam! This, guys, is what we refer to as the correction chart. The correction chart, yeah, you can see these yellow cups. Okay, these yellow cups is the correction period for Bitcoin. So every time you see a yellow cup, at the end of the yellow cup, we are breaking the previous all-time high. If you look to the left on the chart, that way, you can see two previous yellow cups. How do we form these yellow cups? We take a line from the previous all-time high 
and then make a horizontal line and then when we cross this previous all-time high the cut is filled and from that moment on you can see this huge spike in the bull run the last bull run you can see the same you know when we broke this $1200 moment bam we flew to 20k now this current bull run the yellow cut is not full yet because we need to cross the 20k level the moment we will cross this 20k level we will again see this explosion in the bitcoin price to in my opinion this time 100k or even higher that's a really cool price 100k for a bitcoin that's much that's a lot that's yeah. a lot of money what would you buy from 100,000 US dollar new clothes new clothes yeah not a lamborghini no julie I, said I a car drive. julie wanted to have a car but i can't drive julie can't drive as well she didn't she, she wanted to have a jeep no yeah, a range rover a <laughs> range yeah. rover so be aware guys if we fill the cup we will go up and we will break 20k and go up to 100k maybe even a million in the far future but that's like very far away to change it a little bit guys and to mingle it up i will show you a really cool ethereum chart because bitcoin is not the only currency in this industry and it's not the only currency that is climbing and um, because i think ethereum has a really cool looking chart to invest in now because i think it will explode as well let's take a look at the ethereum chart this one bam, bam! on this ethereum chart guys you can see that we flipped this resistance level into the support level this is a huge moment for ethereum because Ethereum is not going anywhere. Of course, there will be some Ethereum killers that are going to take uh, some business from the Ethereum blockchain, but still Ethereum is going to stay in my opinion. And if we look at the Ethereum price at the moment, we flip the resistance into support. So the next targets in Ethereum are 600 and 900 US dollar per Ethereum. So it's a great crypto to invest in for the long term, in my opinion. That was all I needed to say about this Ethereum chart. You know, the chart speaks for itself. We are now at the level that you can see in the bottom and we are going for the two green boxes. The first one is 600, the second one is 900. Good investment, I think, when you step into Ethereum now. Do you want to buy some Ethereum? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Or do we keep it at Bitcoin? No, we keep it at Bitcoin. Ah, we keep it at Bitcoin. <laughs> you see how, much, how easy it is to influence my daughters? <laughs> Let's take a look at another chart, a really cool one. This one. Bam! Bam! This chart shows you that Bitcoin already broke the previous all-time high in two currencies. One in the Brazilian real, two in the Turkish lira. So on this chart you can see the previous all-time high when you look to the left. And we already broke this all-time high. Of course this happened because of the inflation of the real and the Turkish lira. But still, in these countries people are already partying, partying hard because Bitcoin created a new all-time high. And if we take a look at this table, one, two, three. Bam! At this table, guys, you can see all the other countries that they are all nearing the all-time high. You can see a lot of 60%, 70% numbers. This means we are coming closer and closer to creating new all-time highs all over the world. It already happened in Brazil and Turkey, and it will also happen in Argentina, and it will also help it happen in the Netherlands. It will happen all over the world. Just be patient. Just huddle. Juna, yeah. just an idea. Okay. I don't know if you want to play a game with me. Yeah. Which game? Yeah, it doesn't matter because I always win all games. No, you don't. I don't, okay. I have an idea. Just, I was watching this here. Yeah. I see the sea. We are both dressed in clothes. Let's do a game. Let's flip a coin and the one who wins does it need to run into the sea? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go into the sea? No, but I'm going to win. Um, it's really cold. Yeah, you are going to jump in. I Let, already know. Wait, it. let's go and just feel if it's cold or not. Okay. Ooh, this is cold this is freezing cold this is freezing cold you know the water is cold it's like really cold are you sure you want to play this game yeah. because i'm going to make you jump into the water if you lose you jump but i'm not going to lose but if you lose you jump but, but we are agreeing that if you lose you will jump <laughs> yeah but i'm not going to lose okay okay let's flip a coin 
I'm not going to lose. I win every game. This is my magic coin, guys. I always have this Bitcoin on me. It brings me luck. I don't know why. Are you going to flip? Am I going to flip? You're going to flip. I'm going to flip. Yeah. Okay, Jun. The B. Yeah. You are going to jump into the C. Okay. And the other side. This one. Yeah. I am going to jump into C. Okay. Please. Three, two, one. Fuck! <laughs> I said you were going to Fuck. lose. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. This is cold. Yep. Yeah, wait. I need to lose these because they are very loose. Oh. <gasps> this is cold, you know. Yep, I know. Why do I play these games? Okay, Jun. I really don't want to. But you need to. <laughs> Next time, if, they, if you lose next time, you're going to go into it as yeah, well. Yeah, but I'm never going to lose. It's really cold. Luckily, the sun is shining. We can drive. You Enough. can drive. I, I can drive. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> idiot! You're an idiot! Yep. <laughs> It is cool, it really is cool. Oh god, what do you do with your kids? So, to be or not to be? Yeah, to be cold. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. Ooh, never play games with your kids, they always win. Fuck, I always win every game, that's why I took the risk. Oh, did we get the Bitcoin coin? No, I did. Uh oh. Right there, it's there on the floor. <laughs> oh my god, my lucky coin. My lucky coin. Whew. Guys, uh, I'm freezing, but I will heat up by the sun. Uh, one more chart. This one. Bam! <laughs> On this chart. You can see there's a yearly chart. Really cool. Every candle represents one year. We started with three green candles. Then we got a huge red candle. Then again, three green candles. And again, a red candle. And now we are busy with forming the second green candle. So what do you think? Are we going to see a third green candle as well in 2021? In my opinion, believe me, we will see. Because if you look to the left, you can see the history, what happened before. Three green candles, a red candle, three green candles, a red candle, and now you're going to form again. Three green candles before we form the next red candle. That was the Bitcoin part. So let's take it now to the blockchain slash news part, this one. BAM! Let's first talk about Paxful. Paxful, guys, is selling $40 million worth of Bitcoin every week. And of those $40 million Bitcoin sales every week, about $16.2 million is done by gift cards. Huh? Why? Because you lose when you buy gift cards. You can lose up to 40% of the dollar value. But you know, I think there are a lot of people in the world that don't have bank accounts and they don't have any other options or they don't want to have any other options. If you understand what I mean, the money is like this color black. And these guys just buy gift cards and with these gift cards, they buy Bitcoins at Paxful. Really cool to see what is happening in this Bitcoin industry. And that is also guys why Ethereum could be the first crypto that will have a yearly volume of 1 trillion US dollar. Do you know how to write one trillion? No. Try it. Try to write one, a one with a lot of zeros. I will say stop with the zeros and then we have one trillion. Okay. Give me a second. We are going to write one trillion on the beach. One, zero, 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 point, zero. <laughs> Like I that? Guess. So we have a one with nine zeros? Yeah, I think so. That's a billion. Can you add three more zeros? Three more. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Is that a big number? Yeah. That's one trillion. One trillion US dollar. So that is a huge number, Juna. Yeah. Like you can see on this chart, one, two, three. Bam. Bam. On this chart, guys, you can see the yearly comparison between the volume in Ethereum and the volume in Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin was still leading. And this year, Ethereum is leading because in Bitcoin, we are around 774 billion US dollar. And in Ethereum, we are around 990 billion US dollar. So Ethereum is running up in the race to reach 1 trillion US dollar volume as first cryptocurrency ever. 1 trillion US dollar. So really cool. And of course, this all is because of the DeFi hype that we saw the last couple of months that made many cryptocurrencies being built and exploded in value on Ethereum. So to be honest, you know, when we talk about Ethereum, we are talking about the whole combined volume of all projects in Ethereum. And they are all fighting up to just Bitcoin. And there's like only one solely project that is like creating volume. But still, really cool race between Bitcoin and Ethereum and really big number, one trillion. So huge number. Do you know what you can buy for one trillion US dollar? A lot, like yeah. really a lot. Do you know how many people you can buy food for for one trillion dollar? No, like no, millions no. of people will eat and not die out of hunger. But let's keep it positive because I'm soaking wet, I'm cold, I'm on the beach. And these kinds of games I just played with Juna makes me think of the time I still played football because when we went out with the guys, we always had these strange games, guys. And, and you know one of the games was jumping into a pool with clothes or running into the sea and with clothes or pushing someone in the shower with the clothes on and because i need to think about football at the moment now there was one more news article i read today that was about kaisuke honda do you know kaisuke honda no. you don't know the football player that played at vvv like the club your grandfather played yeah. the japanese football player from vvv he went then to russia and to england i think even to italy uh, it was a Japanese football player with blonde hair. I don't know. No, you don't remember? Ah, it doesn't matter. It was a very, it is a very famous Japanese uh, football player. He's also uh, for the Japanese team and he played the world championships and all that stuff. This guy, he now created his own cryptocurrency. I think it's called the Kashuka Honda Crypto. Um, I don't know exactly why he created the cryptocurrency. But you know, you can see more and more of these superstars. We already uh, talked about these uh, musical stars in the industry, Ja Rule, uh, Aiken, and all these professional basketball players that I already talked about in other videos. And now we can add Kashuka Honda to the list as well. He created an own currency. Let's see what he's going to do with this currency in the future. I think he's going to reward his fans and all that stuff. You know, and just like we are doing with the family token, rewarding our fans. No, I'm not comparing me to Kashiko Honda. I was much better at football. I was the best football player, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I should have been in the Dutch uh, national team, shouldn't I? Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need to laugh. Of course she needs to laugh. Guys, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed jumping into this cold water here in the sea. But if you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share it with your community and friends, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. And guys, always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day Yes, also jumping in the sea when you lose a bet. Thank you, Juna, for helping You're me. Welcome. Thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully see you tomorrow again. And I'll hopefully I will keep it dry then. See you. Bye. Oh God, Juna, it's still cold, man. We are walking home in the sun and I'm mean, heating up a little bit, but my clothes are still wet. So it feels cold, you know? Do you know? Do you even know how it's cold the sea is? It's probably this cold there. <laughs> Do you even know what it means yeah. when a guy says it's this cold? What does it mean? Yeah, that your uh, thing is a little slow. <laughs> like a shrimp. Yeah. It's, not, it's not as big as a shrimp, guys. Normally it's like a whale. Yeah. <laughs> you can ask my wife. Don't ask my daughter these things. Don't talk <laughs> about these things when you're walking with your daughter, Didi. That's like not. That's like no. irresponsible. It's crazy. But it's a shrimp now. Shrimp. It shrunk to the shrimp size. Hmm. Nobody there. Walk inside wet like wasp.